also work with a bloke called Russell Miller. He isn't the smartest man I know. He's a few sangers short of a picnic. But he knows how to carry big things, so he's helpful in that way. When I was young, I used to play a bit of footy. I almost made it into the top grade side. So I've rubbed shoulders with some of the greats. Playing footy was a great time for me. I was a bit of a rule breaker. Actually, that's why I don't play anymore. I got a life ban after a certain incident in our grand final. Ross, this is it, the grand final. I can't believe we made it, bro. I know, I'm kind of nervous. Yeah, cause you need to really make an impression out there. If you do well, they'll surely get you onto the Australian representative side. They'd have to. That's one of the reasons I'm so nervous. Come on boys, let's get out there. Let's kick some ass. Welcome to the Olympic Stadium in Sydney for the grand final. 80,000 people here tonight to see what is set to be a memorable match. Atmosphere is electric as the Central District Pumas hit the field and... Hello. It appears as though Russell Miller has forgotten to put on his playing gear. Oh, what a moment. Well, I know that spectators face fines of more than $10,000 for this sort of offence. I don't know what the penalty is for players. I swear, it wasn't intentional. I just forgot to put on my gear. They didn't believe me, though. They said my excuse was unacceptable. So I had to get a job when nudity was accepted. And that's why I work on the council with Fitzy and the boys. Um, I forgot to mention that I'm also single. So if any of you girls out there are looking for a tall, handsome, and extremely intelligent kind of guy... <laughs> I'm intelligent. I have a high school certificate. And I went to TAFE. Once. I thought it was a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just idiots, that's why. <laughs> I mean, that, that's what you are, idiots. 